Marion Jones had a promising career as a sprinter before a doping scandal brought it crashing down. In the years since her overturned victories, the former Olympian has found many avenues for her athletic lifestyle. 2000 was arguably the best year of Marion Jones's career. Though her sights had been set on the Olympics since her rise to prominence as a high school sporting sensation in the 90s, she had to wait for her shot until the new millennium. Her buzzworthy performance at the Sydney Olympics won her gold medals in the 100 and 200 meter sprints and the 4 x 400 meter relay, as well as bronze medals for the long jump and the 4 x 100 meter relay. For any athlete, that is a good day at the office. But what should have been the start of something wonderful became Jones's worst nightmare. Rumors first started swirling about possible doping when Jones's husband at the time, fellow athlete CJ Hunter, tested positive for steroids at the Sydney Olympics. Jones denied any wrongdoing vehemently, and the next few years became a messy entanglement of public denials, during which Jones even threatened to sue if she was barred from competing in the next Olympics. To drive her message home, Jones even used her 2004 biography, Marion Jones, Life in the Fast Lane, to print a denial on a singular page in bold red letters that read, I have always been unequivocal in my opinion. I am against performance-enhancing drugs. I have never taken them, and I never will take them. Jones opted to double down on her denial repeatedly, which made it all the worse when she eventually came clean in the fall of 2007. According to The Guardian, she told investigators that she hadn't just used the steroids once, but, quote, several times before the Sydney Olympics and continued using it after. I pled guilty to two counts of making false statements to federal agents. Despite this incredible turn of events, Jones pleaded with the judge to be lenient with her because she was a mom of two young children. However, despite appeals by her and her lawyer, Jones was sentenced to six months in jail. The International Association of Athletics Federations also banned her from competing, and anything she won both during and after the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games was revoked. The entire drama spanned almost a decade, and by 2008, Jones was an ex-con. However, her life in the sporting world wasn't over yet. With her reputation in tatters and any hope of an Olympic comeback dashed, many didn't think a comeback was possible for Jones. However, just because she was banned from one sport didn't mean she was banned from them all. After completing her jail term, Jones returned to playing basketball, which she'd played during her college days. In 2010, she joined the WNBA's Tulsa Shock. At the time, the president of the team, Steve Swetua, and Jones's coach, Nolan Richardson, supported her at a press conference. She detailed her desire to get back out there, stating, "...the word redemption is not in my vocabulary. I'm a competitor. I want to play against the best in the world, and I know I will be doing that." The fact that any sports team would willingly affiliate itself with Jones may have surprised some, but the team thought taking a chance on her would be worth it. She played for two seasons. Although basketball was a positive step for Jones, it didn't prove to be a permanent transition. In 2011, news broke that she had been cut from the team due to a disastrous performance in her second season. The former track star averaged less than a point per game in her 14 on-court appearances, for what ESPN described as a league worst. Despite getting axed, Jones maintained a positive attitude, saying in a statement, "...I want to thank the Tulsa Shock, Coach Richardson, the WNBA, and my tremendous teammates for providing me the opportunity to fulfill a dream and a platform to demonstrate to people, especially our youth, that if you have faith, life is full of second chances." She faded from view until 2012, when she was the focus of an episode of TV One's Life After docuseries. Upon the show's release, she spoke to ESPN about her current position, explaining that while she considered going back to basketball, she realized there were more important things in life for her to focus on at the time. She reflected, "...I'm not at a low point. I'm excited where I am at now. I'm at a good point in my life." I'm still marrying Jones, but I've just been uh, uh, transformed. Though it may have appeared that Jones sealed her fate and discarded any chance at a normal life when she was in the eye of the media storm, the past decade has proved fruitful for the former Olympian. She has steered clear of mainstream media and kept a low profile. However, she does have something of an online presence, posting on Instagram and TikTok, where she has well over 40,000 followers apiece. While Jones hasn't fully saturated her profiles with tons of posts, it's clear that she's still an avid athlete. As her Instagram profile reads, a mom, fitness fanatic and trainer, entrepreneur, minimalist, tar heel for life. 
Nearly all of her Instagram posts are sports-related and show Jones working out at the track, doing reps in a gym, and more. If her current hustle has shown us anything, it's that her athletic life was more than just a job to her. Jones is clearly passionate about sports and fitness, regardless of the role it plays in her life and career path. Additionally, as she has grown her social media following, she has tried to use her position to encourage others to exercise their right to vote. Back in 2020, Jones posted a video to her TikTok and Instagram profiles with on-screen text reminding her followers to use their power as voters if they want to see change in the world. Over the years, Jones has added public speaker to her extensive resume, and in November 2023, she made an appearance at a Fierce Now event in Texas. For those unfamiliar with the organization, their Instagram bio reads, Fierce, females in every role change everything, exists to educate, energize, and embrace all women so that they are more confident and empowered. In an Instagram clip Jones shared from the Austin-based conference, she tells the audience that she hopes they leave understanding that being, quote, in the midst of transition is a good thing. If there's one thing that you all take from what I share with you today is that it is okay to be uncomfortable. She seems to have gotten through to some viewers. For one commenter said of her speech, it was such an honor to see you speak today. Thank you so much for your words. Throughout the many highs and lows of her career, Jones has also become a mother to three children named Monty, Amir, and Eva Marie. Perhaps inspired by his mom's love of sports, Amir is a keen basketball player. If Jones's social media posts are anything to go by, Jones frequently shares courtside videos of her son's team on Instagram, encouraging his athletic pursuits. As she wrote in one post, first game of the day for number 13, class of 2024, Amir Thompson. Gonna be a special season. It seems like life has come full circle for the athlete, who is now watching her kids follow in her footsteps and become bona fide sports stars. They may have some way to go, but at least they can always turn to their mom for advice if they need it. After the career she's had, cheering on from the sidelines may not have been something Jones ever envisioned, but she seems to have embraced this new role.